Feminazi! Opening your eyes to the lies of social justice. There's an article on thinkprogress.com by Lauren C. Williams entitled, Overwhelming Majority of Men in the Tech Industry Believe There Is No Gender Bias. Let's look at this article a little bit, because this sounds like one of those articles that's clickbaity. And of course it is clickbaity. It also pushes a particular agenda. Can you guess which one it is? An overwhelming number of men working in the tech industry don't believe there is gender inequality in the workplace. Women disagree. That's very interesting, because when you go further down in the article, you find that this women disagree statement is based on some interesting measurement techniques. So they performed a survey of 140,000 people, supposedly, and the bottom line is what this Matt Walliart person said, who is a behavioral scientist, and he runs a service that helps employees determine whether they are underpaid. He said, if this data highlights anything, it is that men need to step up to the plate. Only 25% believe gender bias is a problem in their workplace? That's a devastating finding. Unfortunately, the thing is that that's not a devastating finding at all. The basis for all of the assertions made in this article is a pair of graphs that show the percentage of workers that say that there is equal opportunity for men and women in their workplace. But this is not actually the amount of equal opportunity that's being measured. This is a perception of equal opportunity. This is a collection of people who agreed or disagreed that equal opportunity exists. Overall, men 75%, women 51%. But only in the tech sector, men 80%, women 45%. 4%. The perception gap, which is the difference between how many men versus how many women perceive that the workplace is equal and that opportunity in the workplace is equal, the perception gap is supposed to be a measurement of that, and it goes up by about 50% whenever you look at the tech sector. Here's the funny thing about this. This information is bullshit because the reason that there's a perception gap is easily explained without needing any form of science to go fishing for it. The reason for a perception gap is that's what we've been told. Particularly, that's what women have been told. Women have been beaten over the head for years now, constantly. They can't go anywhere without hearing about it. They have been smacked back and forth by people with an ideology to push with these assertions that technology is hostile to women. Women in technology don't get paid as much as men. Women aren't welcome in technology. Technology is a boys club. There is this special form of groupthink that occurs when a lot of people around a person are making a statement and that person adopts the belief that this is true just because of the fact that they're being bombarded with it and presumably they're also being treated as if their disbelief of that is ridiculous and that makes them ridiculous. If you are effectively thought bullying women into thinking that the place that they work is hostile then they're probably going to respond that the place that they work is hostile. If you are constantly telling women how terrible a particular area is and how unfair and unequal it is, then even without any actual evidence to back it up, they are going to adopt this belief because of the fact that everyone around them seems to be shouting it and saying it as if it was true, and they don't want to be left out. They don't want to be seen as ridiculous. Women in particular are known to be more susceptible to this form of groupthink. This is the way that women bully other women into behaving certain ways or into not going after certain men that those women themselves would like. What I'm trying to say is that an article talking about men don't think there's a gender bias is using survey results from people who are going to be biased in a certain way to prove that. The statement is unfounded. A more important fact is that there is discrimination against a particular gender in technology, but that gender is the male one. Women are preferred hires, especially since it is now the trendy and socially conscious thing to hire people who are in any way away from being white and male. Women are preferred because they contribute to this perception of diversity that it is so important for a corporation to be able to present because true diversity comes from the color of your skin and what you have between your legs. I think I've said all I really need to say. You can put two and two together. There'll be a link to the article in the description of this video. This is Feminazi, signing off.